we'll guide you through how to make a Minecraft bedrock and Java server using Apex hosting. If you guys find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So a huge shout out to Apex hosting for sponsoring this video. There'll be a link in the description and the pinned comment to Apex. And just to show you some of the features, they've got DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support, ultra low latency, instant setup, and so many other awesome features. Of course, the main thing we want is 24 seven servers, which often free hosts don't go and offer. And also at the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice. So first of all, come to Apex, just like so. And then all you want to do is go and click on get started like this. You want to go and select your game, which is Minecraft. Then you can scroll down. Now you can go and choose the plan. Personally, I'd go for a four gigabyte server just so we can handle plenty of players and then go and press on order now, just like so. Go and select your server version. 1.20.2 should be fine. And that's it. Then you can go and purchase it. After you've gone and purchased your server, you'll be sent an email with the details for your server panel. Go to the top right and go and click on panel, just like so. And then what you'll need to do is go and sign in. As I said, you would have been sent these details. And then what you want to do is go and scroll down just like this. And you want to come down to game file. And then what you want to do is just make sure your server is running paper or spigot and you can go and choose the version. Next, we need to go and get a plugin, which is gonna go and allow the bedrock players to be able to go and join our server. So all you need to do is head over to the left and go and click on customizations like this. Then go to Geyser Installer and you want to click on choose an option and then just go for this one here, this bucket option. Then press Q installation. It now says installation queued and you can go and press on restart now. And go and click on open console as well just so you can go and see the process of it. Next, we need to go and check that Geyser is using the correct port. So you can go and see what Geyser is running on in the console. As you can see, that's my IP but that is not my port. And you may be thinking, what's my port? Well, I'll just go and remember that there. I'll click on back. If I scroll down, as you can see, my port is different. It's 25565, where back there it was different. So go and copy your port just here or go and remember it. And then all you need to do is head over to the left and click on FTP file access. You may need to go and sign in again, or it may be able to go and use the cached password. For me, it can, so I can press login. And then you want to go and scroll down until you go and see plugins just down here and click on it and in plugins locate geyser dash spigot and then go down to config and go over to the right and go and click on edit like this now you want to go down to bedrock you should sort of see it near the top and you want to go and change the port to the one we just copied so highlight it and remove it and then paste in your port just like so and scroll through here as the port may be different here. As you can see that my port's already correct there, it's 25565, and just scroll through here to make sure the port doesn't appear again, but I don't think it should, and that's it. Then go and hit save just at the top here, and go up to the top, and go and click on back like this, and press back again, and back again, and then what I do is just go and restart the server just to make sure all the changes are applied. Now let's go and join this server. So firstly, I'm gonna go and join it using Minecraft Java. So come down here and you can go and see your IP address just here. So now let's go and open it up. And of course, just make sure you're using Minecraft in the same version. So I'm running mine in 1.20.4. Click on multiplayer and you can then click on add server and we can then go and type in the IP. I've now added it and I'll press on join server and here we are in the world. And then what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna, um, just go and make like a bit of a tower here, just to make this a bit higher, just to prove to you, we're then gonna go and join it in Bedrock as well. So now let's go and disconnect this and we'll go into Minecraft Bedrock. Here we are in Bedrock, so go and click on play and then at the top, click on servers. And then scroll down the left here and go and click on add server and press proceed if you're sure. Then we can go and name this, so I'll just name this example. And now we need to enter the server IP address so we can go and find that just here so I'll go and type it in. After you've entered the IP, you'll need to go and change the port and you need to change that to what yours says just after your IP. So I'll go and enter mine in now. And then what I'll do is I'll go and press save just so it's added to the list. And here it is example, I'll click on it and I'll then click on join server. And as you can see, it's now loading it. So we'll just wait and here we are. And as you can see, there is that tower I just made in Minecraft Java.
It is that simple. And you're going to have all the benefits of having a paid Minecraft server. And of course with Apex, if you run into any problems then you can always go onto their live chat and they'll help you fix it. And once again, a big thank you to them for sponsoring this video. Have an awesome day.